Hello everyone, this is Ants International, and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to catch your very own queen ant. Now, catching queen ants isn't as hard as people think, so in this video we're going to go over how to catch queen ants, and what you guys are going to need, and when to catch them. So first you guys are going to want to need your own test tube setup. Uh, these are pretty easy to make, all you need is a test tube, some cotton, or some water. Uh, first you guys are going to go and get your test tube, and you're going to want to put it under uh, cold water is what I like to fill my test tubes up with, about halfway. But if you guys are going for other species like Campanotus queens, I like to give them a bit more space just so that they have more room since these are quite big ants. But if you're also catching smaller species of ants, I tend to give them not as much space so that they don't feel overwhelmed by uh, the amount of space that they get. And it's working here for this queen because she's laid a lot of eggs. So now you guys are gonna get your cotton for your test tube setup, and I like to just tear it up a bit just to make sure that it's like not leaving any holes. And then I get, this is when it, I, uh, it really helps to get a cotton bud. And you just push the cotton down into the water. Make sure you guys don't push it down too much or else some water may escape and drown your queen, which is not good. So now I just tip my test tubes upside down just to make sure that the seam in the cotton is strong. And then I get um, the other part of the cotton and I just put it in as the lid to make sure that the queen does not escape. So I find the best time to catch queens is at 7.30 to 9 p.m. around light. And I always make sure that I have all of my equipment and it also really helps to have a flashlight, guys. So make sure you bring that as well. So now um, here's the hard part is knowing when to catch them. So usually if you go at this time, they'll usually be undergoing their nuptial flight right after a rainstorm. So there'll be lots of queens, lots of males, but in temperate regions like Singapore, which is where I'm currently based in, um, lots of geckos tend to eat these queens. So you have to get there fast and make sure that you guys are patient for your queens. Um, and you can catch them with their wings on, but and most of the time they are fertilized, but it doesn't really matter. So you can also find them underground, but I would not recommend doing that. So here's a chromatic aster queen that I've just found um, wandering around my house. And now I'm gonna catch, try and catch it for you guys. I'm sorry if the camera's a bit shaky because it's kind of hard to do two things at once. So I just take the cotton off my test tube and I just wait for the perfect moment to catch the queen. Come on, come on. And there we go, and I just put my test tube right on top of the queen and wait for the queen to crawl up. And if the queen isn't crawling up for you guys, the test tube, I just get a piece of paper and slip it under there. And the queen will usually walk to the side. So now I take my test tube, put it to the side, and very quickly get my cotton and put it into the test tube. Um, but do this slowly guys so that you don't crush your new caught queen. So there you guys go, you caught your own queen. Okay, so now that you guys have caught your queen, now we have to identify if the ant that you caught is really a queen. So what you guys are going to want to look for is large gasters and large thoraxes. Um, usually, they have quite large thoraxes because they have their wing scars there, and size does not matter. So there can be really tiny queens or very large queens here, like this um, yellow crazy ant queen that I caught. And you can see the very visible wing scars that it has. So, um, and it doesn't matter if your queen um, has wings, like this queen here that I caught a while ago, it lost its wings in just one day. So it's also kind of helpful to have its wings because then you know it's a queen. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are still finding it hard to find queens, please comment below why and what troubles you guys are having. And I'll do my best to help you guys. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day. See ya.